I get up at 5.30 every morning, and I don't get done until about 9 o'clock every day. You be a good boy. You be a good boy. On any given day, there could be an emergency or there can be a situation. We can't take in every single animal, so we take in animals that are in a situation like Dallas here. He was being abused, so someone called me and asked me if I could take him. Get in here, little babies. We weren't going to rescue. We were just going to have a couple of animals, and then in, I think it was in 2007, the market went bad and everybody was losing their farms and um, one by one I'd get phone calls or people would be at the front gate can you please take these animals and they need homes and then I just started taking one and I'd say honey one more he's wonderful though because he's my main supporter right here we ended up getting a lot of animals really quickly because they were literally just kind of dropping them off on the front porch that's how we got into rescuing. It wasn't, it wasn't a conscious move. It was just, we were luckily at a place that we could take animals in. Didn't realize that we loved taking animals in. Didn't know that was our calling. And we fell into it. And so for years, we just did it as our own thing. Hi, Foz. Fozzie is a Scottish Highlander bull. <laughs> he is an intact bull. Um, he actually came from the, the, the St. John's River flood and he was a baby when we got him. He actually came home in a dog carrier. Hi, baby. Is that the spot? Is that the spot? All the animals on the farm, these are their forever homes. We do not adopt out. Um, and then we decided we were gonna be a nonprofit because I am taking in so many animals and my husband is funding a lot of it and I just, you know, figured that maybe we can get some help with donations. Come here, honey. Most of our money goes towards their feed. We don't give them table scraps. You know, that's what keeps them healthy, is the, the diet. And keeping the farm clean makes a big difference in their health. <laughs> Let me tell you, I never got my hands dirty. <laughs> my house was always immaculate. Didn't have to worry about anything. Um, but then all of a sudden I fell in love and it's, it's, it's amazing. I, 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 wouldn't I wouldn't go back to what I used to do compared to what I do now.